Happy New Year! As I said in my Japan crate, but now it's Tokyo Tree, which is overstuffed. <laughs> I got this a week or two weeks ago. I had to wait. I mentioned in my Japan crate, I had to wait. I finally got my book in my February box, which I'll do next month. But uh, as you can see, we have Snack Revolution. And this is, because it's a new year, Tokyo Treat has updated their box. So the um, size is a little bit bigger. Not not by much. I, actually, I take that back. I think it's, it might be the same size as before. It's hard, it's hard to tell. No, it is a little higher. I'm looking at my, I have a box of treats and things from past boxes I haven't gone, even eaten yet. And it's a little bit smaller, not by much, but mostly they've changed the book, booklet. As you remember, it was more of maybe six, seven, maybe eight pages booklet. Now it's, it's, it's a little bit thick. And so you have a lot more variety of pages. You can see, there's the first We have Oop, move my finger there. You can pause the screen so you can read it. If it's all legible, hopefully it is for you. Move that finger there. There you go. Oop. Hold on a minute. There you go. Now it's better. And here are the various contents. See, so they've changed up the format now. So each one has more information. It's a little hard, but I know it, this is a little blurry there. It's saying common allergies may, may contain traces of and vegetable for vegetarians. So it gives you a little information on each one. Like common allergies, wheat, dairy, soy. Uh, may contain traces of egg and peanuts. And is it suitable for vegetarians? <gasps> yes. Or who for those who believe they're not omnivores. Taiyaki. A little different than the normal one. I like the layout. It's gonna I have to start a new bag. I have Two bags for each of my Japan Crate and Tokyo Tree booklets from over the years. And you've probably noticed I put a, a beach blanket, a beach towel up there on my window temporarily. Because, as you can see right here, it gets so damn bright over there, it just blurs out that entire thing. Uh, I need to get one that's a little wider so I can cover up the edges, and that way it won't, it won't do that. What's weird is I mentioned in my last video, this camera of mine, this Logitech, it brightens up the room so much, which does a great job of showing everything in the background, except for this is blurry and it shouldn't be. Uh, but in so doing, it blooms out something like the window, because for me, with my own eyes looking here, that window is very dull. It's, 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 you can see all details back there. You can see each one of the, the blinds. So for some reason, I don't know why it does that. It, and it's not because of the light settings. It's just the camera. All right. And now I don't know if it's with every box, but we're getting soups. As you can see, we're getting Japanese ramen this time. Or tonkatsu flavor cup, cup ramen. And here are the Degashi treats again. As you can see, each one of those have been used way too much. If you're going to put Degashi items in the box, come up with something new that we've never tried before. I mean, as those four items I just showed you, we get them way too much. Some cool things. New Year's in Japan. Chill out or snack out. I know it's an and, but it should be or, really. And let's 
see, I think, yep. One more page, two more pages here. We have the photo contest. Some Instagrammers. All right. Nice. <laughs> Let's start with the box items here. And the first thing I'm going to do is the drink. Just this guy. The Mega Pachi. As they say, start 2022 with plenty of power. This Japanese energy drinks drink can take inspiration from kabuki theater actors known for their powerful and energetic performances mega pachi bounces tasty flavor in energy giving ingredients to give you a refreshing boost of on the cold winter days if i can say it right <laughs> common allergies none suitable vegetarians it's a drink <laughs> others contains 130 milligrams of caffeine and 30 milligrams of arginine Please drink with caution. Those sensitive to caffeine, children, and expectant or nursing mothers should refrain from drinking. Backside. I can't remember if we had these before. It kind of looks familiar at the same time, but let's see. Already has a very strong, sweet smell to it. Hmm. No, no. That's like that's like drinking Vicks vapor rub. <laughs> I mean, it has the it leaves a burn on the tongue, but at the same time, not Vicks. Well, I mean, that's the first thing that came to mind. But at the same time, it it's like a f uh. A mildly spicy, liquefied cough drop. Uh, uh, chick, well, mild, somewhat cherry cough drop. Uh, Vix comes to mind, like the Vix cough drops you have. It's very much like that. And that's not a good flavor for for an energy drink at all. The best, as I've mentioned it before, and I'll always go by it. The best energy drink and most flavorful, even when it's mildly warm it just on the verge of leaving cold and going a little warm is full throttle even at that temperature it's perfect there's not many energy drinks or drinks in general that are so nicely balanced in flavor as that and it takes a while for it to lose its fizz and even when it does start losing a little bit it's still tasty where other drinks are like eh all right, this time we have a little too many Kit Kats. We had, we've had this one before. This was clearly just thrown in. It's just the maple. And they're, they're okay. They're, it's good. But the new one, and let me get to its page so I can tell you something about it, is this one, the Cafe Ole, in partnership with Nestle Japan. Taking off your 2022 with a sweet and rich boost. Only available outside of Japan officially through Tokyo Trade. Our team collabed with Nestle Japan to bring you this Cafe Ole Kit Kat that you won't find anywhere else. Well, that's a first. It's usually Kit Kats you can find everywhere in Japan. Each district has basically has their own variety. Uh, each township, in a way. Because you can go, they're meant as like souvenirs. I went here and I got this special Kit Kat to bring back to you. So, New Year's in Japan is all about getting cozy at home, and this Kit Kat will be the perfect partner. Crispy cream filled wafers are wrapped in a creamy, milky, coffee coffee flavored chocolate, sure to satisfy any tooth sweet tooth coffee craving. If I can say anything right. Uh, allergies, wheat, dairy, soy, may contain traces of eggs, almonds, and sesame. There's the back sign, and some of the other flavors which we've all tried. Because we've got dark chocolate, wheat, matcha, and just the normal Kit Kat. Is 
into the packaging. Basically looks like a small version of the big one. Man, that stuff's burning, still burning my throat. Man, a little, there's a, a mild burn down here from that energy. Ugh. Wish I had a nice white chocolate and mild coffee scent to it. I like coffee, the smell of it, but I don't like drinking it. Hmm. There's the interior. Doesn't look any different than a normal Kit Kat. Hmm. That's actually quite nice. Wow. The sugar levels are balanced. That's unusual. It's not a it's not a kick out that I bite into and immediately go mess the sugar. That's just too too much sugar. This one's quite nice. Mixed with the unusually pleasant taste of the coffee and the white chocolate. Then you have the crunch, the the flavorful taste of the cookies inside, which I'm not sure it might be wheat. I don't I don't know what they're using for that. But I wouldn't say it's my favorite because I'm not a coffee person, but that I might eat it. I might actually eat that whole bag eventually. <laughs> but it definitely leaves a coffee flavor in your mouth though. It's there's this somewhat strong after taste to it. Um which is not bad, but at the same time, it's not something I like to have in my mouth because I'm not a, I'm not somebody that is enjoys coffee drinking all the time. Uh, but I I like that. That's that is quite good, and and it's nice to see a properly balanced Kit Kat because the only other there's it's it goes up and down so much. I mean, the, the best is, the, of course, I've mentioned many times, the Apple Pie Kit Kat. All right. Now, well, let's see. Are we in... Let's go in slight order here. So, next we'll have these crackers. Let me make some noise here. Get it away from the microphone because it's so sensitive. Now we have these pleasant looking things. I don't recognize the packaging. We have had chips similar to that. Obviously, these are Adame. Uh, Fuwata? No. Edamame? Is it? Is, am I saying that right? Edamame? E D A M A M E? Ed, edamame? Uh, I always want to say Adame. But that's something totally different. Spend your New Year's rolling around under the ko kotatsu. A hand handy heated table. I keep wanting to say hand heated table. <laughs> and snacking out on Fuwato's edamame crackers. Made from rice from Nagata. Thought to be the best rice in Japan. These light and crunchy rice crackers have an addictively salty flavor. So you won't be able to stop munching. Common allergies, shrimp, dairy, soy, and gelatin may contain traces of crab, wheat, egg, and peanuts. Crab? <laughs> Is it made for vegetarians? No, but it's a cracker. Who cares? Um, okay. well, there's, there's the other bags they put out. We might have had that white one. I'm not sure. smell the salt and the rice. They are so lightweight though. You can see them in this hell. Just little bowls. Very much like uh, some of the crackers we have around here. Man. They're just air.
It'll just melt away in your mouth so quickly. Very light salt. And the rice is so air-filled. with It's just pockets of air, basically. So it just melts away. Um, leaving a very nice salted rice taste in your mouth. These are, these are excellent. Twentieth anniversary. Clip. Now we go to something chocolate. Trying to keep it sort of in order here this time around. We've had these before, but they're still good. Pocky chocolate, the winter chocolate version. Setting goals is something we all do at the start of the year. Well, not all of us. In Japan, we write them on ima, small wooden tablets, at shrines. Our goal is to eat more chocolate. Really? That That's your yearly goal, is just to eat more chocolate. Okay. Enter Pocky Winter variety. On top of the crunchy pretzel, you'll find generously coated rich chocolate in cocoa powder, cocoa powder, sprinkled on top. A chocoholic dream. Common allergies, wheat, dairy, and soy. May contain traces of eggs and peanuts. All right. We have two packs. This nice little, uh, I guess, wintry looking packaging. Get off my hands. Ah, I got a broken one. There it is. Ooh, smells like Nestle powder, Nestle cocoa powder. Very strong Nestle scent to it. Hmm. You can see how thick the coating is under there. Hmm. Unusual choco taste. Smells like Nestle and sort of tastes like it too, but at the same time, it's got a, a slight tinge of something else to it that makes it a little bit different. I like it though. It's, of course, you're not going to find a bad pocket. They're all good. It doesn't matter what flavor you get. All right, we have two Dagashi ones we've had many times before, which is. This one, that you'll recognize, which is the do-it-yourself sauce sunday. Since supermarkets are often closed for a few days over the New Year period, sunday rice crackers, are a super popular snack. They're easy to eat and loved by all. So we're bringing you a little bit of sunday goodness this month, again. Make sure to generously apply the sunday sauce to get a flavorful punch. Common allergies are wheat, dairy, and apple. Huh. May contain traces of gelatin, cashew, sesame, sesame? Hmm. shrimp, eggs, peanuts, citrus. What is that doing in there? Walnuts, soy, peach, banana. Is that part of the sauce? Huh. So. And we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Eight of these extremely thin crackers. As well as a pouch of sauce here, which has a duck and a turtle on it, as you can see right there. <laughs> a mallard. Well, let's try it out. I haven't tried one of these with you before, so we'll give it a taste test. I mean, I've I tried the cracker, but not the the sauce itself. 
So let's, let's see what it what it's like here. I see there's a little bit of it. Hmm. Maybe that's where that the uh, banana and peach and because I'm scenting something in there. Hmm. 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 Shakes your lip. Okay. There's a little bit of pepper in there. That could be where the where that's coming from. I don't know about the shrimp though. Unless it's mixed into that that gel. It kind of does take a little bit like that. But then you have also the peach, banana, and citrus. And there is a kind of hint of maybe those are in there as well. I'm not sure what the sauce is. But these would be good with anything. I mean, it doesn't matter. You put some strawberry jam on them if you wanted to. Good stuff. Uh, I mean, this this is okay. It's not the greatest. Mm. Okay. Moving on. Next, we have another one that's been in the box many times. These little guys, which are the Tai Ari. T A I A R A R E. Separated. Tai Ari. Swimming onto the scene in this new year uh, is this variety of snack. With a major focus on Japanese flavors like the soy sauce in Myron? Mirin? I guess it's Mirin. M-I-R-I-N. Mirin. These mini sea bream shaped snacks are here to give you a taste of the authentic flavors enjoyed at this time. So we have allergies, wheat and soy, and also egg, dairy, and shrimp. Yeah, these are kind of look like some orange cereal type of something you'd find in a cereal. They don't have much of a scent or flavor. They, there's something there, but it's so hard to place. Okay, I did. I did taste fish there, or shrimp. They did say may contain traces of shrimp. I did get a little bit of shrimp with those two, but it's it's mostly rice flavor with a little bit of background of shrimp in some tiny little bit of sweetness. That I'm not placing. It could be like some sugar coating that's put on. They're not. They're tasty. That's the first time I've ever got uh, shrimp out of them, though. All right. Next we go to the taiyaki. Very different than we normally get, which is nice to see something new for a change. This is the fluffy custard variety. Oops. Let me put it in front of my face. <laughs> Everyone wants a bit of luck at the start of the new year, making Thai sea bream a popular choice for the end of the year food. They share a part of the word omedetai. I'm guessing I'm saying that right. O M E D E T A I, which means congratulations, helping it to become an auspicious food. One of the most beloved forms of Thai in the Japanese street food is taiyaki, the sea bream shaped treat made of fluffy batter with a sweet filling. Well, it's not always sweet. Sometimes it's got potatoes or meat in them, and I love to try those. Around the turn, or fish, <laughs> around the turn of the 20th century, taiyaki were made to give everyone a chance to try expensive sea bream, but it stuck around and remains popular even today, unfortunately. <laughs> Just kidding. We caught a couple of lucky taiyaki to share with you this month. Inside the light and spongy batter, shaped like our much-loved Thai, you'll find a creamy custard pairing. Share it with someone special. 
Uh, allergies, flour, eggs, dairy, soy, of course. Ooh, it's got banana. So it's banana custard. Ooh, they are soft. I love the detail on them. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's really nicely detailed compared to the normal um, pastry variety that we've been getting, you know, the cookie. But even, I mean, both sides. It's not just one. It smells like shortbread. Uh, let's see. what. Let's eat the head. <laughs> There's the custard inside. Mmm. Nice spongy cake. I don't know. That, uh... It's hard to tell. It has a nice cream to it. It's very thick. I taste the sugar, which is very nicely balanced. It's quite minimal. Which brings out the flavor of the shortbread and the pudding. The custard. But, I mean, taste it in your mouth. Maybe scenting it up your nose, it has this... It just tastes like vanilla, but they said it has banana in it. So, but I really don't get that flavor. Hmm. Very good, though. That's probably the best tagyaki we've had so far. Pause a second. I get a drink. I'll be right back. I'm back. Got my lemonade. <laughs> All right. Next is you have a do-it-yourself kit. Kind of looks familiar. It's called Kira Kira Jewelry Jelly. Time to add some glam to this new year, and it's tasty too. You can make your own super cute jewel jelly with this awesome DIY kit. And here's how to make it. No allergies, and, and it's made not for vegetarians. So it kind of looks like, I guess, a gummy. There's the, there's the instructions on the back side. Inside, we have a big jewel and then two Mito packs. And that one and that one. I'm not sure what the flavors are. I guess you mix both of them together. Looks like it. But this is, I would go and do it, but it'd take a while. Because you have to let, I, I'm, I'm going to assume you have to let it sit in the fridge for a while to uh, cool down and solidify. So, that'd be a little pointless. And, go to another one that's been in the box before, but it's been a while, so it's okay. Okay, these. Which are the Spot the Sour Cider Gum. <laughs> Spending time with friends and family is what the New Year period is all about. Why not give them a fun shock? One of these pieces of cider gum has a sour surprise. Who will get it? Nobody knows. Are you and your friends brave enough to try? Yeah, these are these are good. These are the sticks. Ooh, that's strong. I just cracked it open. I can already smell the Ramon flavor of it. Four of them together. Problem is, they all smell the same because smell the same, so you never know which one is what when it comes to the sour. I did have something yesterday out of my bag over here. It might have been this, a sour plum hard candy from one of our boxes back. I'm not sure if it's Japan Crate or Tokyo Tree, but either way, I didn't know what I was getting into. 
<laughs> I, I was just sucking on it. I was like, oh, this, this is quite good. And, you know, quite. And then it got to the center and I started chomping on it. It turned into a, like a gum in a way. And that thing was so sour. You, you see my faces on this video before, but you ain't seen nothing like that. I was like, God! <laughs> I literally, I had to take it out and throw it in the garbage. It was just, it was, I've never had something that sour before. I mean, some of the things we've had here in the States are quite sour, but they don't last long. This one just kept giving more and more. It just kept getting stronger. It was bad. That, that stuff was, oof. Another one that's been in the box many times. We have the little Ramoon candy bottle. Beloved by children and adults alike for generations, Ramoon candy is just what you need for a light boost. Like the namesake soda, the sweet and refreshing mini candy bites will fizz and melt in your mouth. Well, they don't really fizz, but uh, it's funny though they're putting them in bags now. I thought, well, I guess they've always been in bags. I thought they were just by themselves with the uh, plastic thing on the top here and a label around them. I could have sworn we had one where you pull the label off and then you can see the face. Boy, it had no scent at all. I would have thought that immediately there'd be like the strong scent of this Ramoon um, gum here. But it's just little compressed powder tablets. You can, mm. That quick, you roll it around in your mouth, it's gone. Nice, sweet flavor to them of the sugar. They're very much like the dipping sticks that we have around here, which is always good. Um, but those, it's Ramoon powder, flavored powder in each pack of the three sides. Yeah, apple, cherry, and lemon, maybe it was. I can't remember which one it was, or strawberry. And then you have the compressed powdered sugar powder stick that you dip and suck on, which is exactly what that is. It's, it's, the stick is Ramoon powder. And we have that nasty mega pachi. <laughs> um, I'll come to that last. Next, we have one of my favorites. I mean, it's a Takashi that we've had countless times over the years. Uh, well, I wouldn't say count; you can't count them, but basically, um, they're the cabbage taro, and they're always good. these are excellent. These mini corn puffs. I always they are corn. Okay. Have a sweet and sour sauce flavor that has cemented them as a favorite snack in the Japanese culture for decades. Yeah, these are. I don't need to show them to you. you can. That's what they. That's what they look like. And before I've mentioned, they have a mild mayonnaise type taste to them. Uh, a little bit sweet and sour together in a way. It's quite nice. <clears throat> and another good little common treat that we see in boxes a little too much, which are the shimmy choco stick. Try it with milk. Well, yeah, it'd be like milk chocolate cereal. Dip it in there. Uh, dairy, wheat, and soy allergies. So, these are excellent. <clears throat> They're um, basically the stick form of the bag variety that you can find. And I've said before where you open the bag and you got the little choco stars the same thing. I mean, you can see the, the how they just all they did is cut it, and then put a little bit more of a, a smooth exterior to them for the bag variety. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Got these again. Little uh, peanut caramel taro. Closing out our New Year celebration, it's time to end on a crunch. Actually, it's not closed yet. Fried Japanese snacks are dipped in a caramel sauce and combined with peanuts for a crunchy New Year flavor explosion to start the 2020 year with a bang. Yeah, these are quite nice. I mean, a little common in our boxes, but I like that they have this sort of peanut shape to them. And they it's definitely smell of caramel. Kind of looks like they have a. Uh, it might be sugar. You can see the little granules on it there. Mm. 
Well, something else. Sugar's not very strong. Basically, it tastes like toasted caramel. Uh, all right, what's going on here? I still have some other items. Well, we have the the normal umabu stick, which this time is the tonkatsu flavor. <clears throat> when you've got a bit of money left over from our leftover from holiday gifts, blah blah blah, make sure you make a stop at the Dagashi shop and stock up on umabu. The classic corn snack is coming to you in a fan favorite tonkatsu with a flavor with a savory sauce twist. Yeah, we've had these many, 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 many times. I still probably still have some over my box here. <laughs> um, I'm missing some items here. Let's see if I can find them. I, might, I must have skipped them somehow. No. Well, that's unusual. Do we get a bunch of bonus? Because it's the premium box? I know there's one item left in, in here that I haven't talked about, but we also have this item here, which I believe is the banana chocolate, if I remember right. These are quite good. Here's the back side. You can dip it and find out. It is the it is banana chocolate. Yep, that's banana. We have a tray of these tasty little taffies. Mmm, I have such a heavenly scent of, of banana. Oop! Good thing that landed in my lap there. We have the chocolate sauce. We have the little sugar granules. And a toothpick to grab them and stick them into it. item we have <clears throat> before I get to the main thing. Ooh. Are these the melon pan cookies? Oh, it is a bonus. Bonus! Does that say bonus on the back? Oh, it does. Bonus. Awesome. Okay. So the, these are probably the melon pan cookies, which we've had before, but if they're the ones that, that I think they are, these are fantastic. No, I thought they, no, they, these are just a little short, hard shortbread cookies. Oh, they got chocolate inside, I forgot. Hmm. Shortbread and chocolate. Quite nice. Hmm. It's a good combination. The sugar is evident, of course, because of the chocolate, but there's also sugar in the shortbread. But it's not overpowering. So, hmm. I mean, we've had them before. It's been a while. And then we have another bonus. These little uh, chocolates. Which I believe I still have a couple in my bag over there. They have a uh, I think it's, it has a mochi center. So it has a sweet scent to chocolate, different than you normally would get. And there's a little pattern. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me. I have to lean back so it doesn't fall out of my mouth. There's a little mochi layer on the bottom. Mm. 
I forgot what the flavor was. It's um, whatever that treat is. And I forget the name, what they are exactly. The chocolate, you don't taste the white chocolate at all. Well, I mean, there's a little bit of hint and the, the sugar is minimal. But it, it's, there's this different type of sweet taste to it. It makes it stand out from other chocolates because also because of the mochi. But <clears throat> it's almost like plum, maybe. I think I'm getting a taste of, of some plum in there. And last, I have this big box. Thanks for snacking with us. That's what it says at the bottom of the box there. We have a soup. And I'm thinking this is going to be a staple with every box now because they've increased the size a bit. So we're all we're going to be getting dry soups. And as you can see, this is the tonkatsu flavor. Nothing warms your hands and your heart quite like tonkatsu ramen on a cold day. Using vegeta vegetation, <laughs> vegetarian-friendly ingredients to replicate the authentic flavors of tonkatsu ramen, Mr. Tanuki gives his soup and noodles a spicy twist. May contain traces of buckwheat and eggs. Hmm. Interesting. I like ramen. <clears throat> I haven't had the bowl variety in quite a while. So, <clears throat> I like the... Uh... <clears throat> I forgot. Hold on a minute. I'll go get them and I'll show you the ones I like, which are really good. And I re re highly recommend them. You can find, actually find them at Walmart. <laughs> Back, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, a cup of noodles. The original 50th anniversary. <laughs> Interesting. The seafood variety. I decided to give it a try, and these are these are really good. Um, reason that caught my attention is a while back, um, only in Japan, uh, YouTube channel. They uh, John was on there, and he was reviewing some drinks a while back that were weirdly made to taste exactly like this and the other cup of noodle uh, soups. And they were all awful. Yes, he tried them. Um, but the soups themselves caught my eye because they're quite good and I remember in the past. But that one and the curry, that's, but they also have curry with cheese, which is, it's good, but you don't really taste the cheese that much. But the curry is excellent. My favorite, my favorite. So if you see those in the store, snag them. They're over, if you're in Walmart, they're in the aisle where, um, salad dressings and things are at the very end so you'll find them pretty easy all right i almost forgot the gum i don't know which one it'll be let's go to that one doesn't smell any different I got the sour one, but it's only mild. Let me, let me show you something. This is my bag of candy. <laughs> this is everything from past boxes of Tokyo and Japan Crate. I just go through it occasionally. I, there's no way I can just eat all this. I mean, there's some Kit Kats in here. But, there was one. Yeah. This little sucker. Whatever it is, this has got to be that plum. I'm just going to open up and show you. It's got a little sticky now. This little sucker, you don't want to mess with that one. <laughs> that's sour. I mean, that's just, it's got to be sour plum. And I believe that's what it was. But that's beyond, that just leave you just, like, oh, oh, God. <laughs> As I mentioned, I mean, it's just, 
too much. That's hardly mild. It may even doesn't even really squint your eyes. Those that that one will. So <clears throat> they're okay. Probably done amazing in there. Sourness and their sweetness is it's nice. It's not overpowering in sugar. So all right. That's all for now. Oh, I forgot to mention you got I've showed it to you before, but if you wanna <clears throat> get one of these these great Dune shirts, I always have the links down in the description at the bottom. So right, this is cool. Man. I like Dune. I like the original even though it's flawed and crazy. It's still a great film. And the new one is even better. <laughs> Although it would have been nice to do the whole book instead of splitting it in half in, into two movies. So, I mean, are they even working on the new movie right now? I don't think so. See that? It's been planned. I believe there was a go-ahead to do, to start work on the second film, but I don't know if they are actually doing it because of, you know, what's going on with it right now. So many situations around the world and the illness and everything. So, I hope it gets built and done because it'd be nice to have a complete film instead of just half <laughs> and that's the good thing about the original even though it's a long film i'd rather have that than an incomplete one okay enough of that i'll see you in my next february unboxing video when i get around to doing it i hope you all enjoyed and take care in these crazy times bye for now